ago. We started Project Leap five years ago, and the idea was to uh, bridge the gap between a lot of shooters who were coming into the Indian shooting team. And uh, five years ago, we started this project where OGQ Olympic Gold Quest supported us in our endeavor, and we were able to select 20 athletes from across the country who got free coaching, foreign coaching, who got uh, the facility of a dietitian, a monsieur, a physical trainer and so on and so forth. So uh, it's a 100% scholarship program that we provide, it's our flagship program and uh, like we said we focus on the athletes who want to take the next leap and who are stuck at a particular level and uh, these athletes come from across the country and if you have a look, this has been our journey uh, in the last five years of Project LEAP where last year we focused on para-athletes as well and uh, these para-athletes got uh, their first international exposure under a foreign coach for the first time and uh, they are now on the road to the next Olympics so it's a good, great moment for all of us, this is of course the Hyderabad range uh, in Gachiboli, which where we upgraded uh, the range to electronic targets, we installed about 40 Swiss Ascore electronic targets, which are the same targets that are used in the Olympic Games. So, to provide the kind of facility that shooters will get in the Olympics, uh, we did this endeavor, and now the shooters from Telangana state are able to practice on the same targets that are used in the Olympics. I'd like to first thank uh, Gagan Naran sir for always supporting uh, Danush. Uh, the journey uh, started off like, you know, uh, he was always, I mean, from the childhood, like he was interested in sports and uh, he loved, he always, I mean, all kinds of sports. He would play in school, uh, he would play cricket, basketball, and every time he would come back with medals. That's when it started off. I mean, from his childhood, like sports was his first priority. Then uh, he joined Taekwondo, uh, where he was, dry, um, he was uh, black belt dan too. Then it started like uh, we happened to see, uh, I think in 2015, uh, he happened to see the board uh, run for glory. Then suddenly he just came up saying, Mama, can I join? So that's when we, we, I didn't take that interest because I was not, I was absolutely, I had no knowledge about shooting. So I said no. But again, when his dad came up, he said, Mama didn't take me, can you please take me to Gun for Glory? So that's when I think he came, he, uh, he, both of them came, had a look, and he said, I want to join. Then we said, okay, let's give a try. So and I, he just started with his levels. Then, like, I think one day uh, happened to meet uh, Gagan sir, there was a meeting, parents and uh, Gagan sir. So, I just happened to tell, uh, ask Gagan sir, see, this is the problem. He cannot speak and he's a cochlear implant child. So, will this uh, affect him having to grow? I think sir just told me, I still remember, sir said, if he's doing well, I will support him. And I think till today, sir is there behind him for his success. When I was 15, uh, a lot of struggle to be honest. Uh, even to start the sport, it took me a lot of blood to start the sport officially, uh, in a professional way. Uh, and then I started. Uh, I've seen the range developing actually. Uh, I played stairs, zonals. Pretty struggle, a struggle every day, day stretching myself every day too thin. Uh, and then uh, I did my nationals, uh, and then there was a long COVID break, uh, which was pretty disturbing for me. Uh, but then after COVID, I had to come back. Uh, I kept shooting, and then uh, I've seen the range developing. Uh, Gachiwali range, uh, we had no electronic targets which was which was so struggling because we had electronic targets when we go to nationals or trials or any national games. So then we had electronic targets from Gagan sir, of course Gagan sir helped uh, uh, Gachiwali range to install 
electronic targets and then we had electronic targets and then the it gagan sir helped us a lot actually to uh, a lot of shooters actually uh, people were struggling with the manual ranges manual targets but then it the main support was the electronic target we got we received after 2019 it's a 2019 20 uh, and then my performance went to a peak like it improved like a sudden improvement and then i got my first national medal and the first this was my first international debut i didn't expect anything because this was my first international i was like let me explore this and then i just got the medal for the country so it's a lot of support and a lot of support from the coaches uh, the best coaches uh, were provided in gun for glory